So in this session, we are going to simply show how we can measure the capacitance of a power thread capacitor, like you're seeing, using a read switch. So that's the setup of the apparatus. And what we essentially need to do here is to switch on our read switch. This right here is a read switch whose frequency is known. So we connect our apparatus like that and then we switch on our read switch. What happens is that every time this read switch touches terminal A, um, this circuit here is completed. And when this circuit right here is completed, the capacitor is charged. So since this capacitor here is connected to that battery right there, and definitely here we have a voltmeter to measure the voltage. And so once this touches B, when this switch touches B, it means this side of the circuit is disconnected. So when it touches B, the capacitor is disconnected. And I mean, the capacitor is disconnected from, you know, this part of the circuit. So it's this circuit that gets into force. That is if this touches B. When the switch touches B, it means the capacitor gets discharged. And as it's getting discharged, we are able to get the current while this capacitor is being discharged. In other words, this is what happens is that when this is connected to connecting to here, when the read switch connects to point A, the capacitor charges after and then when it connects to B, the capacitor discharges. And in both cases, while the capacitor is charging, we are able to get the potential difference across the capacitance. Then um, when the capacitor is discharging through B, we are able to get the amount of current that during the discharging process. And that is measured by the milliampere right here. The readings on the voltmeter and the milliampere are noted. When these readings are noted, we need to take note that each time the capacitor charges, we know that the charge that is gained during the charging process given by the capacitance of that capacitor multiply that by the potential difference. Then also each time the capacitor discharges, we are able to know the amount of current that is flowing through the milliampere during that discharging process and it's given by current, it's given by the charge, divide that by the periodic time. Now I use periodic time because as far as we are concerned, the read switch we are using is a read switch whose frequency is known. And so if we are using periodic time, remember that this we know that periodic time can still be given by one over that frequency that we know. So what is our aim here? Remember, our aim here is to find the capacitance of this capacitor using this read switch. So from here, we can play around with these two, exper with, with, with these two expressions to get ourselves the value of C. So to get the value of C here, which so happens to be the capacitance, we know uh, V. We, we are getting V from the experiment here, yeah? Then we do not know the value of Q, but we can substitute it using this expression. So if I may rewrite this, this will mean... So looking at this, we know that Q is equal to C, V. We are interested in finding the capacitance of that capacitor. So when we make C the subject of the formula, C is giving us the Q, the charge, divide that by the voltage. Now, the voltage we know because we are able to get that from here. But we do not know the charge Q. But we can substitute this value of Q using this expression. Let me try and rewrite this expression back here. This, we know that the current flowing is given by Q over periodic time T. Let me make T, this Q, the subject of the formula. Q is going to be given by the current times the periodic time. And I know we do not know the periodic time, but we know that current times periodic time, periodic time is given by one over F times one, over F means that our value of Q here now becomes I over 
f that is current divided by that by the frequency of the read switch so it means you can now go ahead and substitute this value of q right there so when you substitute it right there we will end up with our expression for capacitance being as you know i divide that by vf where i is the current that we are getting from the milliampere and then the voltage is what we are getting here and also the frequency that is the frequency of the read switch so with that we are able to find the capacitance of a capacitor using a read switch circuit